Yeah, come over here, August. All right, so we are here in our backyard. Um, it's a beautiful wooded area. And in this little episode, I want to show you how you can grow your own edible hey, mushrooms. Get over here. Yeah. Just like that, and we can look over and we can show mommy what we got. Okay. okay. All right, so this is our first flush of shiitake mushrooms. And you can see this whole log is popping out with really yummy edible mushrooms. Now, this whole process actually started about a year and a half ago um, when I inoculated this log. What we have here is a tree that we've drilled holes into, plugged with mushroom mycelium, and are now covering with wax. Okay, so. What we're doing is we have this oak tree that just fell a couple weeks ago. And so we're drilling holes about every three to four inches. And then we have this bag of little wooden dowels that have shiitake mycelium all, all over them. And so what we're doing is we're taking these little plugs and we're putting them in to the log, just like so. And once we get them all in there, then we're going back and we're covering them with this wax that we got so that it seals them in and keeps them keeps other fungi from actually coming in and out competing these mushrooms and it also keeps in the moisture which is a good thing now this actual setup is a little bit of an experiment because most people take logs that are about this diameter but only you know maybe five feet long and then they stack them all up well we're using a log that's all fresh from the tree and I'm hoping that that actually helps keep the moisture in just a little bit more but also helps keep it up off the ground as you can see it's just kind of propped up so we'll see eight nine, nine ten so when you 11. harvest shiitake mushrooms one of the things that you're looking for is you're looking for these little um, shiitakes that have yet to fully open so they're curved back a little bit around the edges which is a really good sign you don't want to pick any of them that are like old and mushy like this because uh, that's kind of nasty. In fact, you want to find ones that are really nice and white on the bottom. And um, ideally, uh, the smaller ones, even though the bigger ones are just as good. And you want to slice them off right next to the bark. Okay, next we have to eat them. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. For the next five days, I'm transferring my old Mushrooms of the World channel over to this one. So I've got some retro stuff like this video. Jonas and I do filmmaking on this channel and I just started a Patreon account here as a way to try to support these wildlife videos that need to be made but have no current funding model. So here's to an amazing year of fun wildlife content. Thank you for joining me, my fellow eco-geeks.